Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. Come inside today, my movie maniacs, as we take a look at the Mortal Instruments City of Bones, or film that you wouldn't have expected me to go to. Now, this is another attempt at building another young adult franchise similar to Twilight and even uh, appeal to the Harry Potter folks. you got magic and such going on in here. And I'm going to tell you right now, I enjoyed this film. It gives us a great story of Clary, who is looking for her mother who disappears on her, and in investigating, she comes to find out that she's from a long line of demon hunters, and she joins with other demon hunters and ventures into the alternate reality that exists in New York City to help find her mother and also figure out what exactly is going on and what her purpose is in the whole scheme of things. Folks, I liked this film. <laughs> I went into it with very little expectations. I knew very little about the story. I knew it involved demon hunting. Okay, and I and I looked at it, and when I saw the trailer, like, okay, here we go, another Twilight. But, you know, I'm sitting there going, ah, I'll give it a chance. Why not? And I enjoyed myself. This was a fun time. Uh, this film has a little bit for everybody. It's a good date movie, I would say, both for guys and girls. Now, the demon parts and the fighting parts and the action scenes in here are plentiful, surprisingly enough. The film does move at a very decent pace. Now you get the guy, Harold uh, Harold Zwart, who directed One Night McCool's, directed this, and I thought for the most part he did very well. And the performers do great as well. Lily Collins, Clary, I will say is probably one of the better characters and the better performances we've seen out of these young adult series that we've uh, hit the big screen. She really does well, makes you feel like she's a real person and not just some stereo cardboard cutout teen girl, okay? And, you know, and she, she has her flaws and stuff, but she also has her wit. She's not exactly dumb and, and all just swoony, you know? I mean, and I really liked her character, and you want to see her progress and grow, which she does. Now, you got Jamie Campbell Bauer in here, who is from the Twilight series. What better way to try to establish a new franchise than borrow from an old franchise? I liked his character as Jace, who is, uh, um, he's a character, he's one of the big, you know, really talented demon hunter fighters. We've seen this uh, guy before, Jace. Jamie Campbell Bauer in Sweeney Todd, and I really liked him in Camelot, and I liked him in this role as well, though his character did seem just a little bit stiff for the type of, you know, guy he was supposed to be. Seemed just a little bit stiff, so uh, I would have liked to see that character played a little bit looser, but on the most part, great performance there. The supporting cast is great in this, including a surprise uh, casting that I didn't realize was in her, CCH Pounder. I love CCH Pounder in any role she's in. I love watching her on the screen and I was glad to see her in a role as Dorothea, this uh, witch. And she, I loved her role in it. The mythology that they put in this film isn't too uh, bogged down. I don't know where some people might be getting that, but I didn't feel like it was bogging down the film at all. They don't spend too much time explaining it, but just enough for you to go, yeah, okay, I can see how that goes. All right, and there are some slow pot spots in here because they try to kind of develop this romantic subplot, which does lead to the climax of the film and plays a part in it. Uh, but that's about the only clunky part of the movie, actually, is when they try to get into the romantical parts and some of the dialogue that they have in there is a bit cheesy. The film's not without its flaws, but the special effects are really decent. It's directed at a decent pace, and the characters you do enjoy watching. There's a little bit for both uh, genders in this film. It's not full-on Twilight, uh, you know, so I think you'll really enjoy it. Three stubs from the movie, man, and that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you, folks, for watching The Final Cut, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And until next time, keep that ticket stub.